Okay guys, sorry about that. I just went and put Scorch back into back into the bath. Um, so hopefully you won't hear him clawing or walking around in his kennel anymore. So back to what I was saying. So I got Scorch eight years ago and I have very slowly over the years have got him used to me. It only took me about, I don't know, a year to get him completely used to me and my family to where he would walk out to us. He knows his name. If you call his name, he will come or he would look at you at least. I got to where he was so calm that I could take him into like the pet store. I would take him to go get my kids from school um, because we just lived a few blocks from my kids' school. So um, after we moved to Logan, I was able to walk and get and go get my kids from school. And um, he would just be on his little leash and he would go with me. He goes on hikes with me. I let him out in my house and he just kind of walks around just like my dogs do. No, my dogs don't bug him. No, he don't bug my dogs, but he does walk around. His favorite spots to be is like on the back of my couch. He really loves to be there and he really loves to be on. Um, we have a little black footstool that we have for our living room that we set up sometimes because our house is kind of small. Anyway, so we set up, we set it up and he sits on that because it's like right in front of our window. I swear to God. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even know if how much of this video you're gonna see. I have to keep pausing it and then when I pause it I have it turns off and so I have to figure out start it over and I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see all of this video I'm trying my best I'm sorry you guys I'm a little frustrated but you know what it's alright we'll get through it Sorry. Anyways, so when we moved um, just recently, we have a little place in our yard that Scorch can enjoy outside. So I went and got him another kennel. This kennel is much smaller. It still has sticks and sticks and stuff in it, but it's mainly for him to go outside and bask in the sun um, in a secure environment so that nothing could get him, no cats or anything like that could get him. Not that there's any cats around my house, but it's a big four foot by three foot um, little basking kennel is what I call it. That he goes out and I let him bask for 30 minutes at the most then I bring him back in that works great for the summer or the warm weather however um, cold weather is coming soon and so he won't have that option but I um, have like a UV UVB bulb for him, a heat bulb, and everything like that that he needs so that he could still get his sun even in the w winter through an artificial lighting that simulates the rays of the sun. So that's what he does in the winter. It's okay, it works, but I prefer to let him go just like outside. To bask however in the winter I can't do that because his internal body temperature has to stay between 75 and 80 degrees guys 
so you can't obviously go outside in the middle of winter to um, bask even in the sun it's too cold for him however he does go outside like if I'm going to take him to my kids at school or something like that with me the pet store the vet whatever he needs I and it's cold I'll either do one or two things a when he was smaller I would warm up a towel in the um, microwave form put it in with him in his little tote that he travels in um, and that would keep him his body temperature up for us to go to the vet and as soon as we were done at the vet we would come straight home I'll get him back under his lights now that he is much bigger than that and there's not really a tote that we could fit him in because he's easily four feet long what he does is when I have to take him to the vet he curls up under my jacket on his leash um, and that's how I get him to the vet and it's just from me going from outside like from my house he curls up in my jacket we get into the car sometimes in the car he goes out of my jacket I preheat the car so it's already really warm when we get in there or sometimes he prefers just to stay in my jacket and most of his body could stay in my jacket so I am six feet tall you guys and he puts his body kind of hanging over my shoulder and um, that provides him with enough cover from the weather that he can um, hide most of his body now a good probably 12 inches of his tail sticks out from under my jacket but um, I don't really worry about it because it doesn't ever take me that long to get him to the vet or or to like walk from my house to the car from the car to the vet office and then um, back into my car so I never really worry about that little teeny tiny piece of his tail but if he does if it does get too cold for him he is able to curl his tail up so he could lift it up and put it into the jacket if he wants to um, but he doesn't really ever do that he's done it a few times so I don't think it bugs him too much yeah so that's about Scorch I also have at my house I have a chameleon um, I just got my chameleon this year so he's still very very new he still gets really fired up when I take him out of it well not really fired up he does get fired up when I take him out of his kennel um, but it never really lasts long it like literally he changes to his dark colors like he does when he's mad while I'm getting him out and then this probably about a minute and a half after to two minutes after he is out and on my shoulder where he likes to sit he's back to his normal color you guys so it's not like I'm torturing him and he chills with me I've made TikTok videos with um, Cairo chilling with me oh and Scorch both um, I have not took Cairo to any of the pet stores and, or anything like that because he's still fairly new to our family um, but hopefully that's going to be the plan in the future I got to get him really used to being out with me and my family um, before I take him on a leash which he has a leash too to like the school or something so cash it shut the door shut the door sorry about that guys another interruption from my kids my middle son so my middle and oldest son don't really take naps but they like read or color or something like that to where my youngest son could take his nap um but he just like came out to go potty and then he's leaving the door open as he's like pushing his toys around so i told him to shut the door 
Sorry about that guys, there's been so many interruptions in this video, like I'm debating whether or not to even not post it. Maybe I'll just like, I don't know, I feel horrible posting all this video with all these interruptions, but it's life, there's nothing I could do about it, and I gotta make sure that y'all get a video, so hopefully you will just bear with me on this video and then... I guess I will go back to making videos at nighttime when everybody in my house was asleep at like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. I was hoping that I could not have to do that because come the next two weeks, I am going to work every single day of the week at my job. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the next two weeks. And I have to be to work at like 5 o'clock in the morning, you guys. So I was hoping that I would be able to maybe make videos during the day when my kids are taking their naps. But I guess that is not how it's going to be. Because I was going to try to take to make videos because <clears throat> I don't work my full shift every day of the two weeks. There's some days that I work half shifts, and on the days that I was working half shifts, I either work from 5 in the morning to seven to 1, or I work from 1 to 7 or 8. I am a veterinary technician, so just because I say, just because my schedule says I get off 8 does not mean that ever happens that way, but... So I was hoping that I could do my videos in that time so that I could get some sleep at night, but it does not look like that that's going to happen. So I guess I will just do them late at night and do the best that I can. Maybe instead of recording, taking naps with my children. I'm not sure. Anyways, guys, so... That's a little bit about my life. Back to what I was saying. So Cairo. Cairo is my veiled chameleon. And um, he is starting to get used to um, me taking him out of the cage. Um, he does come to my he does come onto my hand sometimes when I have food in my hand. Okay, technically not in my hand because he eats insects, so like I hold like um, a pair of tweezers with like a cricket or a millworm or a horned worm or a wax worm. Well, I only hold the tweezers if it's a cricket or a horned worm. But if it's a millworm or a wax worm, I just like put them on the back of my hand and he starts walking to them, flips them with his little tongue, and then walks onto my hand for more. So he does that half the time. So hopefully if I keep making progress with him, um, he'll come, he does look at me when I call his name. Um, he doesn't come to me yet, but he does look at me. So it's all a work in progress. But my goal is for Cairo to end up being like Scorch to where I could put him on his leash, take him hiking with us when the weather's warm enough. Um, taking him to my kids' school and all that fun stuff. So, but keep in mind that if any of these things become too stressful for my chameleon, I will no longer do them because it is not worth the stress of my pets um, to do things that I would like to do with them if they are too stressed about it. So far, that hasn't happened but I haven't got that far yet. But if for whatever reason um, Cairo don't like going with me to the kids at school or he don't like going on hikes or anything like that, I will not, I will not take him. And I will just let him roam around in the house, which he does now. And yes, I could have Scorch and Cairo out at the exact same time and they don't even bug each other. So, 
they currently right now, if I have them both out, um, and they want a bass, Scorch sits on the little black um, footstool, and Scorch or Cairo climbs up my blinds if they want sun. And if they don't want sun, and they want to um, say I'll be by me, um, usually what happens is Scorch takes my lap and Cairo will stay on my shoulder and I started doing this because my dogs don't bug Scorch and Scorch don't bug my dogs and honestly he's almost as big as my, uh, my littlest dog so he's almost as big as like as long as my healer now obviously he's not like as big as my healer but Scorch is four feet long and seven pounds so he's about the size of like a little teeny tiny like chihuahua or a shih tzu or something like that so um the dogs don't really mess with him however cairo is very small he is 0 0.67 ounces so he's not even a pound and he is only probably about as big as this um, medallia um, so he's still pretty small so he feels safer on my shoulder and so if they want to both sit by me and I have them out Cairo sits on my shoulder Scorch um, sits on my lap or Scorch goes and um, sits by the dogs I have pictures of Scorch being on my pit bull I have pictures of him curled up to my healer so, or Scorch is very comfortable with the members of my family. So you could see him sometimes sitting on my kids' laps or on my husband's lap. Um, the only kid of mine that he don't sit on the lap of is my um, four-year-old. But he does curl up next to like my four-year-old's leg. So, um, yeah. Anyways guys, that's it for this picture. I hope that this video works well. I hope that I could somehow mash all of these clips together so that I can make a solid video. If not, I'm sorry. I might have to just upload the longest portion of the videos that I was caught if I can upload any at all. I'm sorry you guys, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be on schedule with a new video on um, Wednesday. And I will record it at nighttime so there won't be interruptions from my household. Alright guys, so like, comment, and subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. Thanks for your patience in this time of me trying to figure out my recording. Until next time, bye!